Hi guys, thanks for making your way to the video today. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the power windows in my 2006 Toyota Corolla. Um, you know, if you're having problems with your battery or you recently replaced it, um, or there was some type of interruption, uh, you know, to the power to your car, it could disrupt the power window system and maybe the windows aren't rolling up and down uh, the proper way or they're stopping at strange intervals. Um, but we're going to show you how to reset those. It's always a good thing to check that first uh, before you dive into anything deeper. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look inside the car and how we're going to reset the power window system. All right, guys, we're in my 2006 Toyota Corolla. Um, we're looking at the, uh, you know, the window selector on the driver's side. Um, this is where we're going to start. The first thing before we do anything is we do need to stick our key um, into the ignition here like so and just turn it to the on position. You do not need to start up your car, but you do need to get it turned uh, to the on position so the accessories are functioning. We're going to come back to the um, window selector area here. And before I do this, I'm going to show you. So the first thing you're going to do, we're going to start with the driver's side, is you're going to push this, um, your window all the way down. Once the window's all the way down, you're going to hold it there for five seconds. Um, and then after that five seconds is up, you're going to immediately lift the window up until it goes all the way up. And then once it's all the way up, you'll, you'll hold it there for five seconds as well. And then after that, um, this window would be complete. And then we would just move on to the other windows. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to start rolling the window down there. Um, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, and then immediately up. And now the window's going up. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Now this window's done. Um, we could test it by using the auto function on the window. So we can just look back up here and I hit the button and you can see the windows going down without me holding it. Um, and it did get all the way down there. Um, and then we can roll the window all the way up um, and see that it goes all the way up like it should. So now that we know that that one is um, all good, we're gonna, we would move on to the next windows. So after this, you would do your passenger side, then your rear passenger side, and the rear driver's side. And you would just follow these steps to reset these the same way. All right, guys, well, it was easy as that. Um, you know, this isn't a guaranteed fix, but it's always something to check uh, before you have to start looking into anything deeper. Um, you know, if you did have to remove the, the door panel and replace something, that's far more work. Um, and this is just an easy thing to try really quick and see if it fixes your problem. And, and hopefully it did. Um, so I hope you guys learned something. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I appreciate you guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.